Okay, this will be an interesting one. I can make this look good. It looks really nice, tranquil. Okay. We'll see how big it is when we get there. Just a little bit of contrast for this. A little bit of lightness. Right, let's see how this one looks. I've got to enlarge it, a section of it to make it look really nice. It is a flight center uh, flyer that's the front I think and this is the back and we're interested in that lady and, and that scenery so we're going to try and make it look really nice so I'm just thinking we're just going to cut some of it off so we can get her in the frame or get her right in the frame so she's going there and we've got to work out just how big we're going to make it Trying to get it to stay in position. It's just been mangled in my backpack, which is a nuisance. <laughs> Let's see how we go. All right, enlargement. Let's see what enlargement we're going to do for this. So one side's going to be 400. So 400 on the vertical and on the horizontal, it's going to be smaller. So horizontal is going to be about. 340 and this may not we're going to make this a bit smaller than 400 we're going to make it 390 so there's going to be some distortion so let's see if we can make if this distortion is still going to make it look nice let's see how we go Oh, I just heard a clack noise. It's not a good sound. Let's see how we go. Oh, that looks interesting. It looks a bit dark. It looks a bit yellow. Uh, I'm wondering if she looks a bit too low down in the picture. Uh, maybe we could uh, make it, make the vertical a bit smaller for this. So we'll just put this aside and we're just going to do some work on it because it looks yellow, it looks horrid, horribly yellow. Uh, I love yellow, but not when it intrudes like that. So we don't do this very often, but now we're just going to pull some of the yellow from the colour balance. Uh, and maybe we could lighten this up considerably. And we're just going to maybe make the vertical a bit smaller okay vertical is going to be quite smaller so we're going to make it maybe make it 340 and see what happens if it's going to be be not it'd be a bonus if we can make this without any distortion so let's see how we go okay out it comes Still looks very yellow, I must confess. Uh, maybe it's the picture, but at least we've got some of the yellow out and we've got more of the sky. But I'm wondering if we're going to make this even smaller, maybe, both ways. But she still looks very yellow. Uh, the surf looks nice. So I'm wondering if we're just going to make it a little bit smaller on both sides. The sky still looks a bit too dominant. So we're just going to go... 320 this way and this one 320 that way and see what happens and maybe we can just get rid of some more of that yellow so we're just going to go here and we're just going to remove maybe just center the yellow put it in the center and see how we go. A little bit of a challenge, let's see how we make it.
Okay, let's see how that looks. Yeah, that looks more balanced colour-wise, but the sad fact of the matter is we've got some of the advertising splurge on the image. We don't want that, so I'm thinking I might have to move it over a bit to get rid of that manually, but now we've gotten rid of the yellow. It looks much more natural now. So now we're just going to move over the image. I'm trying to think where the advertising splurge is so we're just gonna shift it over to get it get rid of it we don't want it it looks ugly and intrusive it's exactly what we don't want in this image so just hopefully we moved out the advertising blurb or splurge whatever you want to call it okay that looks a lot better we lost the advertising rubbish We've probably made it too close, but maybe that's a good thing because we're going to make this into a mirror image and that looks really nice. It looks really quite oh, itchy, tranquil. So now we're just going to print off the other sides. A little bit of fiddling in here and we finally got something that looks good. Okay, let's get rid of that take that out and just put it down this looks really nice so far so good eh now we just have to add the mirror images so we're just going to put in two copies and then hit off to the mirror image button if we can find it easily yep I'm used to it so that's why I can use this properly but sometimes I do lose control of the user interface it scrolls across really quickly if I don't press the buttons correctly it's easy to do and it can frustrate people I think in an office when that happens uh, I get really pissed with it and get angry at the company that made this machine Konica Minolta so let's see how we go we can make with this silly Konica device Konica Minolta device uh, let's see how we go let's see that looks really nice she looks like she's enjoying herself in the water, even though she's obviously posing for the camera. And she must have to do a lot of a lot of takes to get it just right. So it's not quite actually a holiday, but she's obviously gone travelling over. And a lot of people just love to travel, so this kind of job would be very well sought after. And it probably pays a lot with advertising, but anyway... I think now she looks a lot nicer. It looks a bit crooked there. Sorry, folks. I'm just going to try and straighten that up a little bit. Just a, just a smidge. But it's not easy getting it straight. That looks a bit, a bit out of position as well. But I think now we can call it quits.